Hello, my name is Luke Kralik and I'm the Organizational Coordinator for CSLP. And today I'll be showing you how to make simple web banners using CSLP graphics and PowerPoint. Um, a lot of us make little forms and a lot of times we just kind of pick the sample or the default banners that the program makes available. Um, in this case, I'm kind of making like a simple little form to sign up for summer reading uh, in Google Forms. And I've picked kind of the widely used heart book uh, image, but but this time I want to use kind of a custom one. Um, so the first thing that I did was I went and just looked to see what was the best size for a Google header image. And it looks like it's 16 uh, thousand pixels, 1600 pixels by 400 pixels. So I kind of wrote that down on my piece of paper. Um, so now I know kind of the dimensions of the image I'll be making. Um, so my next step is to go ahead and launch PowerPoint. And I'm just here on the default screen. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to design. And I'm going to format the slide size, which is just over here in the right hand corner. And I'm going to pick a custom slide size. And right here, I can type in the width. And I'm going to type in 16. And I'm going to type in the abbreviation PX for pixels. And then on the height, I'm going to go ahead and type in 400 pixels and hit OK. And right now it doesn't matter. I'm just going to hit uh, maximize because I want it to be the right size. And you can see I have this super horizontal formatted uh, PowerPoint slide. So my next step is I'm going to go ahead and right click and set the layout to blank. And so now I've got a blank kind of canvas. Um, <laughs> it's so beautiful. Uh, so the next thing that I'm going to do is I've already kind of got this launch, but if I right click and pick format background, it's going to open up this little side window. And to make my PowerPoint or make my banner just a little more beautiful, I'm going to do just kind of a gradient fill. So I've gone ahead and, you know, there's all these little settings and I would encourage you to kind of play around with one until you like it. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and just adjust this a little way. I like this blue color. It seems fine. Um, so I'm going to go, so now I'm going to bring in some imagery. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and hit the insert button and a picture. And I know where my uh, CSLP art files are, so I've just gone ahead and opened up the collections. Now, uh, you have the option of picking the JPEG files or the PNG files. And one thing that makes those two file types different is PNG files contain, uh, have the ability to have a transparent layer. Um, as a default, and PowerPoint can usually pick that up without any further work on your part. So I'm going to go ahead and pick this banner PNG image because I think it's just adorable. I'm going to go ahead and insert it. And as you can see, like the color is moving right through so that it, it, it makes like a really, it doesn't have kind of like a white outline or no big white square around it. Um, so I'm just going to kind of resize this a little bit and kind of push it up in this corner because I think that looks really sharp. And if I had a library logo, I could maybe plug that in somewhere. Um, this is just like a how-to technical guide, not like a how to make something beautiful because you have awesome art skills. But one other thing that I think works really well in PowerPoint is I'm going to go ahead and insert a shape. Sometimes a shape can just kind of add some drama to your thing. Uh, so I'm just going to add this like blue line here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and change the outline to not have an outline. And the shape fill to like make it really cool, I'm going to pick this eyedropper and I'm going to use the same color as the book here. So you can see it's kind of changing colors as I go to different places. I'm going to go ahead and pick this weird pink color. The next thing I'm going to do is right click and pick send to back. So this is like just a highlight item. I'm going to kind of drag it down and kind of push it over here a little bit and maybe drop it just a little bit. Now you could pick colors that are from your library, but that's just kind of set things off a little bit. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to insert. I'm going to pick a text box because I want to have some text on this. Um, if my library had a jet, like a really cool logo, I would add it there. But I don't really have one, so I'm just going to put a text file here. Um, I went ahead and found on your manual, on your additional manual tools, it tells you what fonts are being used this year. And one of the ones that goes well with uh, the early literacy is the El Grande font, which I found really attractive. So I'm going to go ahead and make a one that just says, like, welcome. And I've got to kind of stretch this text box out so that it fits where I want it to go. 
I'm just going to type in welcome. Please sign up. Um, you could use any kind of text. That's just for a sample. Uh, I'm going to highlight it and using that same little technique that I used before, I'm going to pick my font. Well, I don't want red, but I'm going to use that eyedropper tool again. And this time I'm going to pick the color of the elephant because I think that's going to look good. Uh, PowerPoint has this little ability here just to adjust the font on a fly. So I'm just going to increase it till it's kind of big. Eh, not that big. One down. And I'm going to just kind of drop this here. And maybe I will call that good. So now I've set the pixel size. And one thing that folks might not know about PowerPoint is I'm going to go ahead and say File, Save As. And I'm saving it in my tutorial file. But save it somewhere where you can find it. Uh, I'm going to just give it a name. And it's called uh, Library Sign Up Banner. And here's the tricky part. Well, not the tricky part, but the key part. Um, rather than saving this as a PowerPoint presentation, I'm going to go ahead and save it as a JPEG file. Um, that works really well for a web graphic uh, size, or you know, just it's kind of scaled for the web. And I'm going to go ahead and save it. I just want one. I mean, this presentation only has one slide, but uh, I'm just going to save it as just this one. And now I have saved my little tiny design here as a, a viable background banner. Um, so now I'm back over here in my Google Forms. And instead of using the beautiful heart book that we all have grown to love over the years, I'm going to go ahead and customize my theme. I'm going to go ahead and image upload, upload. I'm going to go ahead and find my banner that I just created. And now you guys will know where all my files are, my horribly organized files. And right here was my library sign up banner. I'm going to go ahead and hit open. Well, Google kind of crashed when I uploaded my image, and I'm not sure if that was my internet or not. Um, but as you can see, once it did successfully take it, it just plunked it up there. And if I go ahead and go to my preview here, um, you can see that I've got a nice little attractive graphic. Um, I can see that maybe I would want to make this a little bit bigger. Um, but this could work out really well on a website or a Google form. And just an easy way to use PowerPoint to just kind of get the uh, perfect dimensions for the image that you're trying to create. Uh, thank you. Uh, my name is Luke Kralik. And, and please feel free to send me any questions or, or comments that you have. All right, thank you. I hope you have a great summer program.